In this video, I'm gonna show you how to really work together in social media using AI. Hi, my name is Sam from Akoya and we're really excited. We launched a couple of new features, which I'm gonna show you in this episode. The feature I'm talking about is working together in Okoya. And this feature is perfect for smaller teams, but also bigger teams that work on social media. We're really excited, so let's just dive into it. First things first, we're gonna add someone to our workspace. So we go to settings, we go to users. And actually before we're gonna add a new user, I'm gonna explain you the approver status. As you can see, I have approver status. That means that with this account, I can approve content. When I click edit, you'll see the switch that affects this status. Now make sure that for the owner or for the admin, this is turned on. But also for people that are managers or generally people that you want to approve posts. Now, what happens if you don't have approver status? That means that every content you post needs to be approved. And this is perfect for people that are just added to the team, maybe interns, but maybe also junior positions, or just in general people that you don't want to just post to the social media account straight away. Anyway, we're gonna save the changes. We're gonna add a new user. I'm going to add my brother. And then when we scroll down, you see the uh, prover status. Of course, we're not gonna turn that on because my brother is actually interning, so, don't want him to just straight away post. And then you have the user roles section. Now this is also really interesting. The user roles don't affect the approver status. So those are separate. Admin has full access and can perform all actions in the workspace. That also means that the admin can manage users, but also billing. Generally, you don't want everyone to have admin status. Then we have manager. Uh, that one has full access, but cannot manage users or billing. Managers can post, however. They can also create posts. Of course, also save templates, but again, they can't manage users. Then the last one, viewer. External user has read-only access and can only view analytics. Now, this is great for clients, of course, but even for managers or C-level people, people that don't need to create the post or need to post anyway, but for people that you do want to view analytics and, of course, view the posts that are being scheduled. Now, this account, uh, my brother, uh, is gonna be a manager and no approver status. I'm gonna invite the user. That user gets an email that they're invited. They can then join the workspace. I'm logged in with my brother's account now. I'm gonna create a new post and now it's saved as a draft. So the other user can't just post straight away. They can, however, schedule it, but it still needs to be approved. For example, we have a post here now. It says waiting on approval. And even if we go into the calendar view, we also see it show up. We can click on it and now we can or approve it or we can decline it, but we can also give comments. For example, love the post needs a bit more blue. And as you can see, my brother liked the post. Maybe he made some changes and I can now approve the post. Once it's approved, you'll see that it doesn't light up anymore. And then it's scheduled. Again, we're really excited about this feature, just working together on your social media, but also integrating all our AI tools. We think it's a great feature for teams. So definitely test it out. Don't forget to subscribe and then I'll see you next time. Bye.